Okay guys, in this quick lesson I'm going to show you how to find LSI keywords. And LSI keywords are basically supporting keywords for your, your main keyword in each post, okay? You need one target keyword in each post and you need at least four LSI keywords in each post. You can have as many LSI keywords as you want, but you need at least four uh, for each post that you create. So in order to find our LSI keywords, we're going to go ahead and open up our keyword list and we're going to find the keyword that we want to target. So in this case, it's going to be apple cider vinegar weight loss. We're going to copy that keyword and we're going to open up Google in a new tab. And we're going to find the Google keyword tool. And I'm already signed in, so I'm going to go ahead and put my keyword here. And for the advanced options and filters, our local monthly searches are going to be greater than 500. We're going to add another uh, field, and the competition is low again. And then in the side, you can just leave the match type as broad. If you'd like to uh, narrow it down just for uh, better results, you can go exact. But um, for LSI keywords, uh, you can just go ahead and leave it as a broad phrase. So we're going to go ahead and click on search. And we're going to click on the keyword ideas tab. And here is the list of our LSI keywords. Um, these are all related to apple cider vinegar weight loss. Um, and there's tons of keywords that you can choose from. So whenever you create a target keyword, you always want to find four supporting keywords to use in your post. So you can select any four of these keywords here, and you can select as many as you want, but you have to use at least four in uh, each post. And uh, because they're so closely related, related to apple cider vinegar weight loss, uh, Google is going to give us uh, a better rank because these are, these are actual LSI keywords. So that's how to find LSI keywords. That's all there is to it. Um, if you guys want to make a list of LSI keywords, you can um, download and uh, export the, uh, the keywords as a CSV file, and you can upload them to a... Um, uh, spreadsheet like we did for the uh, target keywords. So that's it for keyword research, guys. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to show you how to master the art of on page SEO. And it's very easy to do. Um, hopefully, this whole entire course so far has been fairly easy. I know that I'm giving you guys a lot of information, but um, it's a very easy job and it's a very fun job. So I, I hope that you guys are enjoying it so far. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow I will see you in the next lesson for on-page SEO.